What is up guys, Kianba here. I wanna make this Cookie Run Kingdom video real quick to let you guys know about the package purchase payback event as well as the additional packages they put in the shop and the character refunding bug thing going on as well as the dev play link account claim reward event. All right, to begin this video, let's talk about the most important news. I'm a little bit late to talk about this because I had assumed that everyone knew about it because it's on the news. But according to my Twitch channel and my Twitch chat, there are people who still don't know about it. So let me go and cover it. The most important thing is the errors detected for Guild Battle and Twizzly Gummy Cookie skill value. I'm not going to read this whole thing for this video. If you guys are interested in it, you guys can definitely look more into it in your news in game. But essentially what it is, is that in guild battle, there's an omitted periodic damage bug, which happened after the update. This affects cookies such as alchemist cookie and tw toxic mushroom cookie. There's also an issue with Twizzly gummy cookies skill numbers not shown. So what's going to happen is, is if you have leveled these characters or have promoted these characters, you're going to get compensation for it. The important thing is that you guys can level these characters and promote these characters before the next update to get these compensations still. This is not for only people that have had leveled or promoted these cookies before this notice was posted, which was a common misconception by a lot of people. You can see here it says achieved before the beginning of the next update's maintenance. What you're going to be getting for Alchemist Cookie and Toxic Mushroom Cookie, if you guys level them, is going to be Heroic Torches, EXP Jellies, and Crystals. If you guys promote Alchemist Cookie, you're going to be getting Heroic Torches, EXP Jellies, and Treasure Tickets. If you promote Toxic Mushroom, you'll get Heroic Torches, EXP Jellies, and Crystals once again. For Twizzly Gummy Cookie, if you level her, you're going to get Electroids, which are the slot machine currency, EXP Star Jellies, as well as Crystals. If you promote her, you're going to get Mayhem Tickets, Popping pieces and crystals. Important things to note for this is that you will not be compensated immediately after leveling the characters. You'll get the compensations after the next maintenance as well as you will only get the rewards for the highest tier reached or achieved. So if you guys get to level 60, you're not going to get all these rewards down here. You only get the level 60 rewards. Same thing goes with the promotional stars. If you get 5 star, you're not going to get all the previous tiers. You only get the highest tier that you reach. If you guys haven't seen this spreadsheet, I will be linking it down in the description below. I do not know who created it. If you guys do know, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be giving them credit in the description as well. This is a compensation efficiency spreadsheet, which essentially tells you how much XP you're going to need to bring a character to a certain level bracket range, as well as how much EXP you're going to get compensated in refunds from bringing that character to that level bracket, as well as your total net exchange of EXP after the refunding with the character leveled up. The most efficient level you can bring a character to for EXP refund efficiency is going to be level 30, where you're going to get 251,660 EXP back, as well as the extra bonuses. If you guys want to bring these characters to level 40, you're going to get a 97,150 EXP refund. And level 50, you're going to lose out on 967,590 EXP. However, you're still going to get that 160,000 extra refund padding to help lighten the impact of how much EXP it costs to bring him to level 50. Keep in mind that you're not only getting EXP stuff when you bring them to 40 and 50, you're also getting extra crystals as well as some other extra items. Since Alchemist Cookie is a rare cookie as well as Twizzly Cookie has an event going on where you can get it for free, I highly recommend you guys have these level 30 by the next update. If you guys have Toxic Mushroom, obviously get that to level 30 as well too. Personally for myself, I brought my Toxic Mushroom to level 50, partially for Super Mayhem, so I have another character at level 50 to put on a team, as well as mostly for Guild Battle because Toxic Mushroom paired with Licorice and Sorbet is pretty good. However, you definitely don't need to bring Toxic Mushroom to Guild Battle. You can definitely bring any other sort of DPS and you'll score relatively the same or possibly more i also brought my twizzly cookie level 50 for super mayhem only uh just so i have another character for super mayhem and she's kind of okay at it i wouldn't say she's really good and a must build but it's your personal choice to have these characters level up to whatever degree you want for whatever compensation you'd like but the extra 160,000 exp to lighten the load to get to level 50 definitely did appeal to me the last thing I want to say about this is that because we don't know when the next maintenance is exactly is to level up these characters in sets of 10 because if you level these characters level by level and you have brought this character like level 38, 39 with the intention to try to get to level 40 bracket, you'll still get the same rewards as somebody who leveled their character level 30 as opposed to you who leveled your character 38 or 39. So it's just wasted EXP without extra compensation. This is exceptionally worse if you guys are trying to get to that level 50 bracket and you guys get it to level 43, 46, 47, 48, because it's a lot of EXP to get all the way up there for no other extra compensation. 
All right, to start off with the package purchase payback event, it is going to go from October 21st, midnight, all the way until October 27th, right before midnight. So essentially ends October 28th. DMT plus nine. So if you guys are unaware, it is already active because this is Korea time. And during this event, it will be that you could buy any of the packages except coins, crystals, and daily free gifts. And if you do pack purchase one package, you'll get an additional 3,000 crystals. But if you package purchase three or more packages, you'll end up getting 3,000 crystals and 200 more electroids so in total you'll be gaining 6,000 crystals and 200 electroids for purchasing three packages or more um, the rewards will be delivered to your mailbox however on October 29th so don't expect that you're gonna get these additional crystals and electroids immediately once again you're not gonna be able to buy a coins crystal or daily free gifts which is essentially those raw pur purchases uh, down at the bottom these are not packages that should be a given and then the other thing is that if you ever do want to refund one of the packages purchased you do have to have the crystals and electroids that you got as the reward in your inventory because they will be taking away the payback bonus as well as the package if you do file for a refund next i wanted to show in the shop that they added two more purchase limits for the interdimensional package as well as the mala sauce cookie package for volume one if you guys are not familiar when the quizly and mala packages first came out there was only a purchase limit of one for each of them so now if you guys want to take part of in the payback event without spending too much money if you guys already bought some of these packages you guys can definitely buy these two cheap ones essentially for this one you're going to be paying about four dollars per multi and you're going to get an epic guaranteed it is on the mala sauce banner and on this one you're going to be paying about four or five dollars for a multi but you're going to get some other extras this is essentially like 90 crystal equivalent you get some exp jellies if you're unfamiliar with this does it gives you one of each epic topping this is not randomized it gives you a uh, guaranteed epic topping and then it gives you seven and a half pulls on the the electroid slot machine uh, this is actually pretty good because on the reward o -matic, it stops at version 30 and repeats over and over. And you can see here, it's going to have kind of similar rewards for at least the crystals and summons. And it could be pretty potentially worth it since there's only 15 items in this slot machine. It's kind of likely that you'll end up getting three summons or more. If you guys are actually curious about what's on version 30 of the slot machine, um, this is the image here. I'm sorry, it's extremely blurry, but you can see there's going to be a lot of EXP jellies. They're going to have your cookie cutters, your treasures, your... Um, talent range powders you're going to get 30 toppings and 20 toppings and then you're going to get the rainbow shells in exchange for the key card in the future as well as you have the twizzly stuff here now let's talk about some events for the free plays if you guys see here under the dev play link account campaign what's going to happen is is that you're going to go to your settings and then you're going to info and then you're going to link your cookie run kingdom account to either a google apple or facebook email account if you've already done that that doesn't matter you're still going to be eligible for it what the reward is going to be is that it's going to be 10 magic cookie cutters and it's going to be delivered October 28th, 6 a.m. GMT plus 9. And you do have to claim these rewards within seven days. Once again, if you guys had started playing Cookie Run Kingdom and you guys had not re-rolled and you guys signed in with a Google, Facebook, or Apple account right away, you guys will still be eligible for this. As well as if you guys re-rolled with a guest account and you guys signed in or logged in and linked up after you guys got your re-roll account, you guys will still be eligible as well too. If you guys have not linked your guys' account yet, please do link it, especially because you guys will lose your account if you guys lose your phone or your app gets deleted or your data or your cache gets erased. So I highly recommend you link it so you guys get these extra cookie cutters as well as get protected in case something happens. The last news we'll be covering in this video is the cookie promotion event for Mala Sauce Cookie. This event will be going from October 21st midnight all the way until October 28th about 6 a.m. GMT plus 9. Essentially, if you promote Mala Sauce Cookie, you'll get various things such as magic cookie cutters, EXP jellies, and topping pieces and electroids. If you guys already promoted Mala Sauce Cookie or you guys want to get more stars for your Mala Sauce Cookie, you guys can check your in-game news to see how many refund or bonus rewards you'll be getting for the promotions. We went over this earlier in the video, but in addition for this event, they increased the amount of purchase limit for the Twizzly and Mala Sauce Cookie packs. Also to reiterate, if you guys had promoted Mala Sauce Cookie before this event, you guys will still get the rewards. The rewards will be delivered October 20th, GMT plus 9, and you will only receive the rewards for the highest rank achieved, essentially the highest promotion. So you're not going to, if you get to 5 star, you're not going to get all the tiers below. You're only going to get this 5 star tier level. 
All right, that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below what level you guys brought your Alchemist, Toxic, and Twizzly cookie to. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Cookie Run and Genshin content. Make sure you guys join my Discord to be part of our Cookie Run community, especially if you guys want to join one of our guilds. We do have a tryhard guild on Hollyberry server, aiming to be top 30 guild. We're currently top 40 and climbing, as well as we have a more casual guild as well, too, if you guys want to apply for that. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pie for more Cookie Run content, especially if you guys want PvP, PvP tips, because I am top 250 in Mayhem as well as Master 3 in regular PvP. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!